Once again, welcome to Knowledge Powerhouse. And in this section, we'll cover another important question. Why do we break the monolith software into microservices? So monolith is a software which develops over the time and when it becomes so huge, like maybe 10,000 lines of software and so many libraries in, within that, that we have to deploy it at, at the same time. Whenever we make a change, we have to have a testing of maybe two, three weeks before we can release it. And when we release, we are still doubtful whether it will work in production or not. And if we have to roll back, it's another nightmare. So at times we have to break this monolith into microservices. So, but why do we do it? So there are certain reasons for breaking the monolith software into microservices. First is speed of development. In a monolith software, it is time taking to build and deploy like a new change. So if you want to make a new change, you have to run a build, which will, a build of my monolith software runs for a very long time. Similarly, deploying a software, which is a, so huge, takes more time. Whereas in a microservice, it's a very small piece of software. So if you make a change, the build happens very quickly. And you can run all your tests, integration tests, unit tests, everything within a small amount of time. So it is much faster to develop something and you get a feedback immediately. So in a monolith, the slow pace of software development is available. Whereas in microservice, the fast pace of software development is available. So in microservice, you also do not spend much time on the overheads like build is taking lesser time and the uh, unit tests take lesser time and that way you can get a faster feedback to go on to new feature. Second reason for breaking the monolith is flexibility of technology. With microservice, you are not tied to one technology for your whole life of the software. You can keep on using the latest technology for building a new microservice. Whereas breaking a monolith into microservices is a good choice because you can use the cutting edge technologies in a microservice. In monolith, let's say you are implemented the monolith into a specific language or specific version, then changing the version itself will take so much of testing and QA efforts that you may not want to go ahead and start using the new version. So that is another disadvantage of monolith software. Then comes the organization structure. So in case of monolith software, we have the software silos, like teams are formed in that kind of a fashion, where within an organization, you have this team, that team, and those teams, they may not be communicating well with each other. And the teams may not be truly agile. Whereas in microservices approach, you can have truly agile team, and the teams will be generic enough that they can build any microservice on a specific domain, which are related domain, because the concepts are same. So a little bit of business domain will change, but other technical concept of microservice will remain same. So you can have a very good organization structure and better efficiency of the teams in the microservices model. Then comes the security. In microservices, since we have to do only one thing at a time, we can tailor the security level of a specific microservice as per our needs. Like if we have a banking system and there is a microservice to store the actual bank account, then we can put very high security for that. Whereas if there is a microservice just to check the balance or just to order checks, then you can have a lighter security over there. So you can like weigh in that what kind of security you want to put and that you can use. Whereas in Monolith, Throughout the software, you have to use a same level of security, which may be very costly thing. Then comes scalability. Obviously in microservice, it's very easy to scale the specific service. Whereas in monolith, you have to really do capacity planning. You have to buy the servers. You have to like think about all the aspects before scaling. Whereas in the microservice, if you see, oh, this service is reaching their maximum load, we can easily scale it into multiple service or we can just uh, deploy it to a better hardware. So the specific section is deployed to hardware, it costs much less. Whereas in case of monolith, 
the whole software has to be deployed then it becomes a herculean task to scale the whole system so these are the main reasons for decomposing a monolith into microservices scalability security and uh, flexibility of technology 